guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Manchester, we've come up to do some practice before the BIKC Regional Finals. We are off on a Thursday night racing the grid members in a gridlocked event. We're not going to be doing any of the challenges. We're starting from the back row of the grids, so we expect it to be a little bit bumpy at the start. And it was, it wasn't too bad though, it was a little bit knocking, but the way it goes in these events sometimes people are scrambling for positions as you can see there's carts everywhere I do well not to crash into that guy in the white helmet i did have a bit of a moment thinking i'm gonna i'm gonna crash into him but i managed to break some just in time and avoid it so we're just making our third overtake from the guy on the um bridge we're expecting to get a little bit more off the line but it was really competitive there's a lot of guys here that are a lot of practicing for BRKC as well plus it's a members night on the track, I barely know. Um, so, it wasn't too bad. I wasn't expecting too much from this session. I was just here to learn the track. I definitely wasn't going to be competing for the top three. At least I didn't think I was going to be. See a cart spun out there and we just squeezed through. So, yellow flag. Uh, that's going to hold things up a little bit. Hopefully, it's going to bunch everyone back up, which it does. We all had to stop while they were still retrieving the car. It took them quite a while to get over there, but it's a really short track and a really short time here at Manchester. So I guess the marshals got to be pretty quick to sort of stuff out, otherwise you do come back around to the incident again pretty quick. We're on to the first real overtake. I finally get quite close under the bridge. We'll just switch it down the left hand side there on them. So it steals the apex. It looks like some of the overtakes you do at Coventry. It's quite a similar place. Yeah, I'd say the difficulty is quite similar to Coventry as well. It's about the same for overtake here as well as at Coventry, and that's where most of our experience lies. So we're used to making lunges like that, and it doesn't always go to plan, as you'll see at the end of this video. Really didn't mean to give number 19 a nudge then, purely by accident. Although it does start coming back at me, we managed to have the inside line into the final right hand corner. And we sort of hold the position so it's not too bad. He did try coming back at us, so fair play to him. And again, nice little move down the inside there. That was nice and sweet, that was. Um, again, it's a little bit of a dodgier place to overtake that one. So we're approaching the bridge and there's a little bit of a mad scramble. Sort of everyone's everywhere and tried to go around the outside of this guy who's got the blue gloves on. We managed to make it work. We also get the guy in front with the black helmet as well, so we've got a split of two for one then, which we're, we're loving that. We're still following this guy in the yellow helmet, he was quite quick. Definitely had a little bit more pace than me, um, but not too much, because every time we come up to back markers, we were sort of catching him back up again pretty quick, so he was definitely making it interesting for us, and definitely giving us a bit of a benchmark to try and follow. Again, I nudged somebody again, that was them slowing down. I wasn't anticipating them to slow down because you don't really slow down too much there. So we sit on a nice uh, red flag. This red flag actually lasted for eight minutes. So it was a pretty lengthy one while they fixed the track. Of course, if you've ever been to Manchester, these uh, red and white barriers on the right hand side of me now, they do move when you hit them. A lot of them are not bolted to the floor, so if you do hit them, they do move and the marshals have to come out and rearrange the track a little bit and get things sorted again. And that one, I think they're actually drilling down when they're fixing it. It took a while. 
a nice move under the bridge as well. I'm liking that one when it happened. I think the guy moved over a bit still, but it felt good and it's nice to uh, go in under that bridge. That might go well. It's a bit slippy and you do get a little bit of a drift on through it. So we're going to plan this one for an attack under the bridge. It seems to be a pretty good overtaking place if we can get on the left hand side if I'm on the corner after the bridge. So we get nice and close. So stay on the same line as him then just switch it out to the left. They don't even see it coming. It is a nice move. Um, do run the risk of people turning in on you though. So you have got to be mindful of that. But if they don't turn in on you, they see you coming. It's not a bad move and it's definitely a good overtaking play. The guy lets through, we're, uh, we're all grateful for that. I didn't get a chance to say thanks. I usually put my hand up. You guys know that to see me do it all the time. Uh, we didn't get a chance to do it this time. We're going a little bit defensive now. We've switched over. We've gone forward a couple of laps and we are having to go a bit defensive. So we take a little bit of a shallower line in, under the bridge and then keep it left as well. Make sure they can't pull that move with them pulling off on people. And you can usually keep them behind you doing that. I don't think we defended that corner properly because he does sort of barge his way through. I wasn't too happy with it. Um, but I think he was definitely faster than me. And remember the guy in the blue gloves? He's still right behind us. We have a good little battle going forwards now as well. Nice touch at uh, Team Sport Manchester. You notice they've got the bay doors open on the right hand side, which is letting loads of cold air in. Which if you're waiting around, it's a bit cold. But I tell you, when you race it, oh, it's nice. It feels nice. I get really hot racing, so it's a really nice uh, cool breeze coming through. Managed to chuck it down the inside onto the final turn, but he comes back at us. We don't quite make the move happen, but we're letting him know that we're there. We're going to be coming. We're going to be having another pop soon. The guy comes through this again, hits the barrier which slows him down. And we see this is the opportunity, we shove it down the downside of the bridge, it gives us a little bit of a boost. We cut across so we can't take the race in line properly. And that gives us the move, we do make it stick this time and that weren't too bad. So we're just honing in on this guy. Um, I think he was a back marker. A lot of people did pit in this race to change carts, so it doesn't matter if they're a back marker, they still might be quite quick. But we're honing in, you know what we're going to do. We chuck it down the inside and turn off the bridge. It works nicely again, so it is a profitable move that one. You can make it stick most of the time. Now, as you come through the bridge, it was this next set of corners. I was really struggling and really got to have a flow through these corners. I did come to Manchester to have a session before this and it was a bit of a disaster, especially on that corner there where I've just brought up loads of that guy. It's flat out and I didn't realise it was a flat out corner. I sort of lift in a little bit and it just slows you down too much. So, And it was watching that back that I realised what the hell was I doing making that move. I had no business making that move. Really sorry to the guy for knocking him off. I think we were laughing him anyway, but this is not the point. It's not nice. The two gentlemen waves us back through. You can see me and this guy with the blue gloves were having a bit of a race. Bit of a black flag being waved there. I'm not too sure that was for me. I didn't react to it and I didn't see it again. So I don't know if the marshals seen some chink and then thought, oh no, maybe we'll just leave it. I'm not too sure, but apologies to the guy that was a shitty move and probably shouldn't have made it. 
definitely made us think twice as we come to that corner again and we were quite close to the guy in front of the blue glove so it made us think we didn't go for it we are going to have another pop at him at some point though no, i'm not too sure when but we are going to have another go at him So I wasn't expecting that, I was a bit disappointed as well, I would have liked to have, uh, liked to have raced him. So approaching the end of the race, so I'm just going to add on a quick fast lap. I'm not going to talk over it, the lap starts now. And there we have it. It's a nice short lap. Congratulations for the winner, Ryan. Uh, run up Benji and third place, Jack. We didn't do too ma too bad, really. We managed to get from last to fifth. Fastest time was that lap you've seen. It was a 34.3. So we didn't go too bad. It was a nice practice session. We finished in front of a lot of people. We practiced some overtakes. And you can bet we're ready for the BIKC regional finals in manchester thanks for watching guys please remember to like and subscribe to have the regional finals up soon